Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, me, I'm not here again. Uh, apologize, it's been a while since I made a video. I'm just really busy. Uh, work, life gets in the way. Uh, I'm back here working on the Nissan Hardbody again. Uh, this one particular, I have lowered, uh, stripped all the paint off, rusted it out, kind of doing a, uh, I guess you would say a rat rod type thing, but not really. Uh, but anyhow, the last video, I swapped, <coughs> excuse me, dashes. I put a 95 dash in this, and this is a 88 Nissan, and I had to swap some brackets out and do some other things. Well, I couldn't get the gauge cluster to work properly. So what I done was, was I put aftermarket gauges in. I put a water, water meter, or water temp, uh, fuel, RPM, oil pressure, and voltmeter. Uh, didn't have enough room for a uh, speedo. I was going to get one of those GPS speedometers. Um but I just didn't have enough room here. I may redo this later on at some point, but right now this is working. Um, and I would like to make a video on how I wired everything up, but it's basically straightforward. You just wire everything up to the factory harness behind the dash. Uh, most of your Nissan hard bodies, if they don't have a tack in them, there's still going to be the wire harness there for the tack and all you got to do is just figure out what wires go to the distributor that work off of the tack and you can connect them to that tack and it'll work and as far as oil pressure you just run that to the motor and to the side of the block where the oil pressure dummy light goes to um, the water I had to get a special neck to go on to the uh, hot side of the radiator to put that in the fuel gauge is kind of weird and i haven't figured it out yet but if i put fill it up it reads empty if it goes empty it reads full i've tried swapping the wires around i've tried taking the gauge apart and swapping stuff around and for whatever reason it reads backwards and i've tried swapping signal wire to ground ground to signal hot to ground ground to hot you know all that kind of good crap but like i said I, it, it works so that's what i've done but right today what i've done is is i don't have any blinker indicators to tell me which way i'm turning or if i've left my blinkers on so what i've done was is i found the wires that go to the original blinker indicators and found these LEDs at Walmart that were supposed to go to something else so I just took them apart and wired them into where the blinker indicators go and I put and it's in this bezel here that goes around the gauge cluster but see these little holes that's where I put them I kind of hot glued them in place but uh, basically they're just little blue LEDs And also, flashers work. So, yeah. But anyhow, so like I said, I, I don't really have the time or the, the, uh, the, the video time to uh, show you how I wired up everything. It's just pretty much straightforward. It's a mess back there, as you can see. But uh, if anybody would like to know how I did all this, please comment below. And um, I just don't have the following. Not a lot of people watch my videos. And I don't have a camera right now, so I'm using my phone. I know I'm doing a lot of explaining, but hey, uh, it is what it is. So I hope you like it. If you want to know more, just ask me. Thanks, guys.